Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the bridge issue that some of you might have encountered. Now we have over here a bridge that goes through a crevice. Now, if I we can cross over the bridge, the problem is if we go a little bit more to the left and we go down that ladder inside the crevice itself, what technically should happen is that the character should go below the bridge and not over it. And yet, we're having this little issue over there. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can solve it and the best way to do so. So, let's get started. Alright, so first, in order to solve our problem, the first thing you should do is, if you haven't already, go inside the tile set configuration and for the bridge, make sure that the character cannot move to the left or to the right from that specific bridge. Now, this might not be uh, a fix for everyone because if you're one of those people out there that would like to have a two tiles uh, width of bridge like this, then your characters ain't gonna be able to move from there to there. And so my next solution to you is to go inside my collision problem solve video tutorial in order to fix that issue uh, without having to remove the possibility to walk over uh, like this inside the tile set. All right. Now, if you're with the with me and you go with the one with type of bridge like the one presented inside this tutorial, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to remove it entirely because bridge like this needs not to be configured uh, sorry, need not to be mapped this way. Actually, they need to be events. Because if it's not events, then we cannot modify them in order to behave the way that we want. So what I'm going to do is fast forward this little part. Okay. All right. Now we have our bridge, which is good. The default priority is below character. And if you're quick on the update, then the only thing that remains to be done is to put them, uh, make a new page actually, where it's going to be above the character, depending on a switch that we're going to activate, which uh, is probably going to be like, is bridge over player. Basically. All right. Now, if the bridge is over the player, then we're uh, basically the it's going to show up as above and so the character will be able to walk below and if it's not then the character can walk on it now here comes the logic that we need to implement as to how can we trigger this in at the uh, appropriate time now what i like to do is always create a little event here which i call the bridge manager which is going to work in correlation with our game manager since that the test map and i haven't done that already and I'm going to activate the switches game started in order to trigger the game manager that we previously set up inside our common events. If you've been following my channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check the game manager video tutorial. So now only the only thing that we need needs to be done is to uh, trigger a couple of options basically on when to uh, activate this switch and deactivate it. And the good thing is that this switch can be reused for other bridge and on other maps because the bridge manager won't, once you enter the map will always take care of uh, setting the switch correctly. All we're going to do is use the arrows position uh, where it's standing on the map to uh, activate or deactivate the switch. All right, so the way I'm going to do this for today is by using the heroes position y so and not the hex position and i'm gonna explain why it is so important so i want to check if the character is inside the crevice here so if he is the bridge will appear above the character and if he's not it's gonna show up below the character as if he's crossing now it's important that you do it in y's um you check the y's position rather than the x position in this case because this has a, a direct link with the orientation of your bridge. If the bridge was not going from up to down, but left to right, you would have to check uh, essentially the X position to basically be able to uh, check if it is over or below the bridge. But in our case, since the direction of the bridge is from up to down, we need to check the Y value to check if the character is actually below or above. Otherwise, we'll have, uh, we could possibly encounter some issues that will break the logic. 
All right, so what I'm going to check is uh, if the arrow's Y position is smaller or equal to something. And also if it's bigger or equal to something else entirely. So in our case, that would be uh, if it's bigger or equal to 6 or smaller or equal to the value 8. If that is the case, that means that he is walking the crevice. But it could also be on those value on the bridge itself. Now, here's li here lies the problem. So, if he is under the crevice, but his X position is not equal to one of the bridge, then we're going to activate the switch. So, that means that if it's smaller or equal to 8, if it's bigger or equal to 6, and if the arrow X position is not equal to one of the bridge, which is 11, I think I said. Yep, 11. So, if all three conditions are respected, we are going to turn the switch um, on in order to... Uh, is the bridge over the player. I'm gonna turn it on. Now, the only thing left to be done is to create a health branch on the hero's Y conditions. Not the X one, but only on the Ys. And essentially, if those conditions are not respected, then the switch is going to get turned off. So off and off. We don't do it on the X condition because while the character will be crossing under the bridge, then his position will be 11. And because of that, uh, if we create an else branch uh, on this to turn off the value, then one, when it comes the time when it crosses under the bridge, then the bridge is going to appear below the character once again, which is not something we want. And so we don't create an else branch uh, on the arrow's exposition, but only the Y's for that, re for that reason. So let's test this out. So we're working on the bridge, not a problem. Cannot go from left to right on the ground, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to climb down the ladder and yay, I am walking below the bridge. And that is fantastic. Now, the only thing left, really, and that is a little issue that some might not have considered, is that since this over here is a walkable tile, if what happens is that if you go under the bridge and you try to uh, climb the ravine from there, there you go, we get a little issue over here. So, my... Basically, uh, just two ways that you can solve it, either through the collision problem solve that uh, video tutorial that I did recently, or if you're a little bit lazy like I am, what you can do is activate uh, make another event, which is basically taking the same as the character when the bridge is over the player. That way, the character is going to collide with that wall uh, when it's crossing below the bridge, and that will prevent him from being able to climb the ravine from below, which he shouldn't be able to do. So let's test this once more. So no problem here. Not a problem. Can come back. No interference or collision whatsoever. If I go below the bridge, not a problem. I cannot go down anymore. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am currently trying to do so. And I am colliding with the invisible wall, which is perfect. And that's it. And let me just try to climb back up. Should have deactivated the invisible wall. And there we go. All right, so that's already it for today's video tutorial on how to cross under and on a bridge without any issues or interference. So as always, make sure to like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below inside the comment section. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you later for a new video. Bye. Goodbye.